What's going on everyone, Matt Raymond here and welcome back to another Vitality video. Today I have something a little bit unusual planned. I wanted to go ahead and test out, as you can see right here, latest updates. Uh, it's from a few weeks ago, but I figured I would try it out. The Basilisk Knights, they have recently been added and I thought it would be a fun idea to kill them for 3 hours to see how many kills we would get, what kind of loot do we get, how many jaws can we get in that time and all of that good stuff. The drop table isn't the best, I'm not gonna lie. It heavily relies on your luck on the actual jaw, which is, at the moment, 1 in 712, tied with the Basilisk head. So, will we get one? Will we not within 3 hours? You're gonna have to find out by watching the video. But before we start rolling those clips, we have another juicy, juicy giveaway for y'all. A Christmas cracker as well as two super mystery boxes for one very lucky winner. If you want to enter that giveaway, all you need to do is, of course, subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment your in-game name down below and turn on the post notifications. You don't know that you entered the giveaway, wish you all the best of luck on that. If you're new to Vitality and you want to try it out for yourself, please do use the link at the top of the description as it helps me out a ton. And of course, make sure you join the Vitality Discord and my own private Discord, links in the description down below as well. With that being said, I hope you guys will enjoy this video, let's get right into it. Alright then guys, last Vitality video has been a little while, but today I wanted to try out something relatively new, which are the Basilic Knights. They came out on the 7th of July, so it's not that new, but I literally haven't done them at all yet. I don't know if there are monsters you can kill with a scythe due to their size, or if I have to use a one-handed weapon on them, but I wanted to camp it out for a few hours and see if we could get lucky on some jaws. Now, first thing first, I need to figure out where the hell they are, and uh, then I'll get back to you. <laughs> Alright, so just on the south side you can find them. I don't know if you need anything special on here. A mirror shield can protect you from this attack. I see, I see. A mirror shield, eh? Seems like a smart decision. It drains your stats apparently when you don't have one. I think we're gonna go ahead and bring one of those. Unfortunately, it is one of those NPCs that it's useful to bring it on. Holy fuck, okay, we're definitely gonna need a mirror shield. Never done these before, so I have no fucking clue. And I think you can get a basilic task which would allow us to use... Um, what's it called? The uh, Slayer Helm for extra DPS. I am gonna need a one-handed weapon for these. Hmm, I don't know what the best choice is for a one-handed. Maybe the Hasta? Sounds like a good idea. Mirror shield, do we even have one? Probably not. I'm gonna have to do some preparation for this one, that's for sure. Let's try and get a Slayer Helm out. See if we can get our hands on a Basilisk task to begin with. Alright, we can definitely buy the Mirror Shield in its shop. We still have a task at the moment, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, skip that bad boy. Assignment, what kind of task? I would have to guess it's a hard task. Out of the wilderness, 44 water fiends. This is gonna be a lot of skipping, ain't it? Wish there was a quicker way to get tasks. Also, can you extend Basilisk? Let me find that out real quick. One of another one, episode demons, Necreals, Basilisks. Whenever you get one of those, it will be longer. Huh, interesting. And buy all of it at once. But we only have uh, 1000 Slayer points left at the moment. So we're gonna have to, you know, pray to the Lord heavens above that we'll get one quick enough. Absol demons, nope. Okay, I'll check you guys when I get one. I have a feeling it might actually be medium tasks instead of hard ones. Just a gut feeling. No, 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 no. Ah, son of a bitch. Just a feeling is telling me that it might be medium instead of hard. Stay out the wildy. God, it's taken me all my Slayer points, though we're already 400 down the drain. Okay, that's a bit saddening. Literally wasted all my Slayer points without a single one of those Basilisk tasks. Not what I was looking for, but uh, it's gonna have to make do with it. And now we're just gonna try and see if we can get lucky nonetheless. Gonna try and bring a one-handed spec, something like a DDS, to use as well. And I think we're gonna have to make do with that. Do I have my Ring of Wealth on? I do not. I do want to bring that. I think the uh, Basilisk Jaw was 1 in 720. A ridiculous drop rate, but, you know, hopefully it will pay out in the end if we stay there for long enough. Alright, I'm gonna start with a 3 hour time to see how much we can do during that time. Should be able to... Oh my god, it's so complicated. I think uh, with a Slayer Hound we can check our kill count either way. So that's gonna be helpful. Just started the timer, I mean I only killed one before the timer started, but that check might do. 
And whenever I take a break, I'll just pause the timer and we'll see how far we get. Hopefully we can get lucky on some uh, juicy loot. It's gonna be very interesting to see if we can land a rare drop on. I'm even gonna loot all the mediocre loot just to show you guys what we'll end up looking at at the end of this. Okay, this is interesting. We just got a brimstone key from that. Oh, I can dodge the stone thingy? That's great. Uh, we just got a brimstone key. I'm not on a slayer task, so I don't know why they would drop them, but I guess I'll gladly take those. I guess that's in the recent update that I haven't checked out. Bug fixes, quality of life updates, etc. Let me see. Theater of blood changes, chamber of Xerix. Yeah, I don't see it mentioned anywhere, but I'll take it. We'll uh, be able to get some juicy extra loot, I guess, on top of everything else. Especially for Iron Man, it might be really interesting to see what kind of loot we get here in three hours. Um, my first strange drop, I guess we'll call it, is a Basilisk Bone. I have literally no clue what that could be used for. But interesting nonetheless, let me google it. It's literally a quest item, I don't know why you would even add that to the fucking game. Like, it, it's completely useless on here. It's for the Rag and Bone Quest Part 2 thingy. I don't know about these, man. It's gonna require a lot of RNG on a Basilisk Jaw to run away with profit from these. We are currently 23 kills in, and the timer is at roughly 20 minutes in or so. Almost. This is gonna be the last kill of this particular trip, and then I'm gonna bank. Um, all together, not too bad. As for how I know how many kills I got, the loot tracker is on. The only thing it doesn't track is the coins, so I'm gonna make sure I'll keep my coins on me throughout the banking sessions and all of that. Everything else should be all good to go. But yeah, I'm not quite sure how this is gonna work out after three hours. I'm gonna pause the timer whenever I bank, just in case I go AFK. Like for example, right now I'm gonna have to go ahead and get some dinner soon, but uh, 24kc, roughly 20 minutes in. Ooh, it's gonna be a tricky one, that's for sure. Not even an Iron Man either. Drop rate doesn't work still as far as I know, those scrolls. Otherwise I would be using those. If I knew for sure they would work, but... Our only hope is that getting at least one job would be nice, and then the brimstone key is at the very end of it. Alright then, one little break later, and we're gonna continue our grind from yesterday, starting up the timer again. Still at 2 hours 39 minutes, so... Let's jump right into it, and hopefully we'll see a jaw very, very soon. That would give me some hope that we can actually make more than 100 mil in an hour. Or in the 3 hours total, I mean. But uh, if we don't see one in like the first two hours, it's gonna be... Oof. Very hard. I feel like this drop rate specifically was made more so for Iron Man, like 1 in 700-ish. Because I feel like, you know, if an Armadillo Hilt is like 1 in 240, and armor is relatively easy to do as well, then, you know, something like this should not be as rare. From an Iron Man perspective, it does make a little bit more sense at the very least. I also forgot to keep my coins on me. That sucks, because that's the only thing that the loot tracker doesn't keep track of. My apologies for that. Oh, at the very least, as long as I record every tip, we'll uh, be able to see how many coins I had at a certain point in time. Anyway, I'm gonna just uh, go back and uh, chill a little bit and get this over and done with. Hey, there we go, we're now 55 kills in and we just got our second brimstone key. Not bad at all. Well, I'll be damned, there's brimstone key number 3. This is finally starting to look a little bit up. We're currently 2 hours and 12 minutes in. Not too bad, 59kc. Hmm, I wonder how this will end up going. I, I really can't wait to see what kind of loot we can expect from those brimstone keys. And if they'll bump the money per hour, even if we don't end up getting a jaw. Questions, questions. This video is going to be very informative, even for myself. Like, I, I enjoy these kind of things to see how they end up turning out. Alright, this is going to have to be the last kill of this trip. Finish it, please. Last hit, come on, before I die. Ran all out of prayer and stuff. Prayer drain is ridiculously fast in here. Damn, unlucky on that last kill. Let's go ahead and teleport home, pause the timer. We're currently 2 hours 10 minutes in. Sorry, that's not correct. We're 50 minutes in to this video and we have uh, 2 hours and 10 minutes left. My bad. 1.4 million GP from this particular trip. And the last one was roughly uh, 600k or so. Let me just keep... Let me get the exact number real quick. Yeah, it was 622k. 622k. Meaning we're now at 21 or 2.1 mil 6k to spare. 
Not too bad at all, but what I'm going to do, let me remember that 2106 so I can take it out afterwards. Is, uh, upgrade our weapon a little bit so we can do it a bit faster. I was thinking a Blade of Saldor or a Grazi Rapier, I think either one would work just fine. It kind of depends on what is for sale right now. Let's check. Blade of Saldor, anyone selling? No offers. Okay, that's just perfect. What about the Rapier? Grazi Rapier is going for... 849.9 mil, fucking A. Let me check my PK points. I have oh, 6 9 k I don't think that's gonna be enough. I feel like the weapons are like 75 or 80k or something. 90k even. God damn, I would have loved that Blade of Saldor, but that's a little bit on the expensive side right now. Damn, I'd love to wait. Oh, you don't even buy charges apparently? Maybe with the Crystal Shards if you buy an uncharged one. Huh, if only we had the PK points. Wanted to buy 30k PK points from a guy trying to sell them, but he's AFK as always. Always whenever you see people selling shit here or buying whatever, they're always AFK as hell. So we're just gonna go with the Grazi Rapier, it should be a decent increase on... Can I please just collect it? Thank you. Should be a decent upgrade over the uh, Samurai Hasta for sure. Let me bank it and grab it. Wish I had multiple, I'm, I miss being rich. There we go. What are the stat difference like? I got a little bit of a little bit of strength and stat bonus. Not the worst. All right, let's get a move on and uh, continue. All right, that concludes another trip to the basilisk. One hour, forty-three minutes remaining. So we're one hour, fifteen minutes in at this point. Another brimstone key for the for the log, whatever you fuck you want to call it. For the end, one more key. Not the worst trip, we're currently at 96 kill count. Like honestly though, unless the brimstone keys have some hidden loot I don't know about that is worth absolute gazillions, I really need to get at least one jaw and the drop rate is just ridiculous in my opinion, 1 in 700-ish. <sighs> we have 1 hour and 43 minutes remaining to try and get lucky but at this point you just really have to pray. Ah, no fucking way, bro. We just got a Basilisk head. I think it's all over for us now. Are you fucking kidding me, man? That is just so hardcore depressing right there. One hour, 18 minutes of remaining time and we get a Basilisk head. Why? Just so in case you didn't get it in early Eclipse, it's the exact same drop rate as the jaw. That could have been a jaw. We could have had a first one just now. Will we get a head instead? I think you can do absolutely nothing with the heads on this server. Correct me if I'm wrong, maybe some POH features, but... Bro, that is depressing. Alright, it's gonna end the next trip. Fuck it, I want a depressing ass head draw. Oh, mine didn't loot the runner. Whatever. Loot tracker for the win, right? We can keep track of everything, no worries. Four mil cash so far. <laughs> Six brimstone keys. And worst of all, the Basilisk Cat. Like, let me just show it just to clarify one more time. Basilisk Cat, 1 in 712. The Basilisk Jaw, 1 in 712. Bro! What do you mean? Why you do this to me, game? Fucking rigged. We're currently at, let me check, 1 hour and 11 minutes remaining. So, 1 hour and 50 minutes into this bad boy. Nearly. Bro, I can't believe that shit, man. Why the head? This video, man, I didn't think it would take a turn for the worst like that, but... We have an hour remaining, who knows? We're at 132kc, which honestly, you know, is a little bit on the fucking slow sl uh, side. Like, I didn't think the kills would be this slow. Bruh, all together, man. Uh, I feel like even if we get a jaw right now, I'm gonna still continue saying that this is not worth doing. But, you know, I wanna give it the benefit of the doubt and see what the brimstone keys give as well. Before we make a final judgement call. And another very shitty trippy done. We have 40 minutes remaining on the timer now. Come on man, this is gonna be clutch as fuck, but for the love of god, let us see a jaw on the floor. As far as I can tell from this, like... Bro, just go PK, man. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to tell you. If you want to get a face guard that bad, go PK for 3 hours and you'll probably get it in PK points because it's only 20k 
Like, at this drop rate, you might as well make the face guard like 100,000 PK points, because I feel like that's gonna equalize the two drop rates a bit more. Because if right now, if I have to choose between doing another three hours of this for a small chance to get a face card, or you know, just enter the building in welfare, go PK for 20k PK points, I, I think the latter option will work out a lot more efficient, faster, and better altogether. On top of that, if you do it PK, you might even get some fucking uh, good ass caskets and shit, like get a giant or a large casket, make some money off of that on top of the PK points, or maybe potential loots from, play from players and stuff. This is uh, depressing, man. I don't know who decided on this drop rate, but it's, in my opinion, not worth. Alright then, this is gonna conclude another trip, also one of the last ones. Ah, we have seven minutes remaining at the moment. Seven and a half-ish. It's gonna be extremely clutch if we get a giant of that remaining time. I don't see it happening personally. We're at eight brimstone keys. So that is kind of what I'm hoping to see some loot from. But altogether, man, unless you're an Iron Man and you have no other way of obtaining the face guard and you really want one, don't do these. This is so not worth. Like, I find it fun to do for a video context, but on God, I would never want to do this again. Like, I want to get it over with and just never teleport back to this place on my main account. Like, the fact that you have to mirror shield, like, if I could have, I don't know, scythed them, it might have been a bit more efficient. But, you can. So, it's pretty, pretty blech. Alright, it's all over. The alarm is about to go off in four seconds from now. Hopefully it's not loud as shit. Okay, it literally doesn't make a sound. Oh, I have the page muted. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Three hours are now officially over. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Not a single job. It's not a big surprise, but... Um, you know what, let's just start off by having a look at the loot tracker. I got 8.1 million GP. Fucking disgusting amount. Not even 3 mil per hour, so... That is near neglectable right there. Let's have a look at the full lootations right there on the right. We got one a basilisk head, which is the biggest rip of them all. Same drop rate as the jaw. If only that would have been a jaw, that would have made these three hours a lot more worth it. We got one long bone, neglectable drop rate, like one in 200 or something. Mystic head, I think that's relatively rare as well, like one in 300 ish. Shitload of rune items and all of that, 218kc total. Not a surprise we didn't get the job, but I don't know why you would make him so rare in the first place. I wouldn't even recommend doing this as an Iron Man for the runes. I mean, unless you're specifically looking for raw runes, which was an okay amount, but I feel like there's better ways of getting them than 500 loss per 3 hours. <laughs> like, what? The least I could do is go ahead and grab all the items. Assuming I looted all of them, I might have missed one here and there. But, um, might actually alk all the alkables, all the rune and adamant items. Alkamol, get a total cash tag going on. And then, uh, yeah, go ahead and open the brimstone keys, because that is like our last resort right now for some potential money. Adamant kite shield, we need six of those. And then. I think we have the majority of rune items, battle axes, axes, daggers, met helms, skimitars are missing. We have a whole three of those. Just a big yikes overall, man. Even the herbs are fucking trash, like not okay amounts. Here you go, this is the total loot in a nutshell. Like the herbs are so low, they drop one at a time. It's neglectable as far as I'm concerned. Like, if I wasn't doing it for the video, I wouldn't even have picked it up in the first place. And even now, I'm kind of regretting picking it up in the first place. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, ah oh man, I can't believe this disappointing uh, fucking NPC, man. Like, I wouldn't do this. If anything, this video should teach you not to do these um, NPCs. Like, it's, it's not worth it. Let me go ahead and grab some fire runes, if I can find them within this mess of a bank. Oh, metal, you should clean your bank. My banks are always messy, man. Get used to it. Let's grab some high elks and let's get it over with. And of course, I get fucking force logged for whatever reason. And it says my account hasn't logged out yet. Awesome. 
Great timing, 10 out of 10. All right, and that is the Elking part <laughs> completed. Because literally Mystic Head and Rune Skimmy are free items in the shop and you can't high elk them. They are worthless. Bringing our total cash up to a whopping 8.497k. Yeah, I think you guys know what I'm thinking. Last thing to do now is go ahead and open the brimstone keys. I honestly have no idea where you do, but I'm gonna assume it's in the same place as old school. So we're just gonna go ahead and try to find it. Okay then. <sighs> like literally rubbing my eyes, trying not to face ball my head in. The brimstone chest hasn't been fucking added yet apparently. So I can't even open the keys at the moment. <sighs> Hopefully that will be added in the future. It's a bit of a fucking shame. But the most I can tell you guys right now is that the Basilisk Knight Basilisk Knights are not fucking worth it. Please never do them for the live of you. I still hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless, it is what it is, it's very RNG reliant. I could have gotten lucky, but I didn't. I mean, maybe some person, some one of you guys will go there and get like a fucking job within 5 kills, it's possible, but unless you're an Iron Man, once again, 10 out of 10, don't recommend going to this place. I just wanted to test it out since they were newly added and stuff, but yikers man. Overall profit per hour comes down to fucking, what is that? 8, 4, 9, 7 divided by 3, 2.8 mil an hour, <laughs> 2.8 mil an hour, bro, I could kill two people in the wildy right now that we're absolutely nothing and I'll get about that amount, like, shameful bro, it's truly shameful, I don't know what the point of them even was, unless you're an Iron Man, like, but in my opinion content shouldn't be revolved just around Iron Man, I think something when you add something, it should be worth doing for both normal players and Iron Man, because the Iron Man are only a select, you know, percentage of your fuel base in the first place, but that's a bit of a shame. We're gonna end it off here for today. If you still enjoyed the three hour type of a lootation video like this one, let me know down below. We can definitely do it again. If only this head was a job that would have made it a lot more interesting, but unfortunately, I wasn't that lucky. Better luck next time. Hopefully, I'll see you guys then. If you did enjoy it, let me know what kind of loot from 3 hours you would like to see in the future. Perhaps 3 hours of Revenants, or 3 hours of PKing, or 3 hours of whatever you can think of, perhaps maybe a certain boss or something. Let me know down below and we'll make it happen. Peace out boys, see y'all next time.